Today we celebrate the feast of St. Andrew, apostle and brother of St. Peter. Now remember that St. Andrew, first of all, had a longing in his heart for God, that he was disposed to what God wanted. And then this longing prepared the way for him to know the one who prepared the way, John the Baptist. And he was, first of all, a follower of John the Baptist. And when John the Baptist points out Jesus as the Lamb of God, Andrew turns and follows Jesus. He was already disposed, he was already ready for what God was calling him to. And St. Andrew becomes the first evangelist as he will go to his brother Peter and tell him about Jesus and invite him to a relationship with Jesus. It's also Andrew who acknowledges the boy who has the five loaves and the two fish at the multiplication of the loaves and fish. And what's interesting is Andrew seems to always get second place. Notice that I began this video talking about him as the St. Peter's brother of St. Peter. We never hear it the other way around. He was not part of the inner circle of Peter, James, and John, and yet he chose his brother to be leader of the apostles, St. Peter. And yet Andrew is a great Advent saint for us because he had a heart that was disposed, it was getting prepared for when he heard the voice of John the Baptist, which in fact the church is going to say to us in these next two Sundays, we're going to hear that voice of John the Baptist now calling us to encounter with Christ at Christmas. He also was ready for that encounter with Christ, which is not some sort of static, boring encounter. But just like for us at this Christmas, Christ is inviting us to this dynamic, surprising relationship with Christ in a new way. But also, St. Andrew is a perfect Advent saint because he takes second place. Maybe we've been overlooked in plans, family plans for getting together or friends meetings with friends over the holidays, or we've just been ignored or seemed to put, put aside right now. And yet he embodies the spirit of John the Baptist, that same humility Andrew took upon himself. He didn't let those, the fact of getting put in second place bother him, it seems. He was happy to be who he was and who God called him to be, still an instrument, an incredible instrument of God's goodness. So too for us, we, it, St. Andrew reminds us that there's no shame in being a second place saint. And in fact, there can be a lot of humility and grace.